Hi, and welcome to AppsBuilder.com. There are many different types of content that can be added to your app, which can be found off to the left. Under the General Content section, you can add manual feeds to your app, import content from an external website, create customized forms, and even insert your own HTML, JavaScript, and CSS source code. Under the Multimedia section, you can add multimedia resources to your app, such as videos, photos, podcasts, and more. Under the Social section, you can sync your social profiles into your app so as to be constantly in touch with your community. Under the Contact section, you can insert useful contact details and allow your users to call, text, and email you just by tapping an icon. To add content to your app, simply click and drag the selected item or double click. You can reorder your pages by dragging them either up or down. You can also create sub-menus by dragging the module to the right. And to the right of each page, you can find three buttons, Add Content, Options, and Delete. The Add Content button is for importing content and creating feeds for your app. The Options button is for setting main layout features, such as the page icon, title and description, and navigation menu. And the Delete button is to delete the page. By clicking the triangular icon, you can also hide and show child pages. Note that these modules are usually addressed to as pages in all Apps Builder documentation. Users can see changes in real time in the preview on the right, and they can test the app on real devices by clicking the button Preview App on your smartphone. To test the mobile site, users simply have to scan the QR code. While for native apps, they need to download the Apps Builder demo app for each store. As you can see, when it comes to adding content, Apps Builder gives you everything you need to build a high-quality app fast and easy.